Hi, welcome to Youth Scotland's STEM video on making a straw roller coaster. To make your roller coaster, you're going to need paper straws, a large piece of cardboard, glue dots, or cellar tape, or you could use a glue gun, but be careful with these. Scissors, a pen, a ball, or another item to roll down your roller coaster. I chose more teasers. You can also choose to add in extra bits to your roller coaster. Get creative and use things from your recycling. So the first step is to measure how wide your tracks need to be. This will depend on the ball you're using, so take two straws and move them toward each other with the ball in between until the ball is up on them like a train track. Take another straw against the end of your track and mark it with the width of the track. We can now use this one to measure and cut more pieces to make sure our track stays the right width for our ball to roll down them. Now we need to take two of these small pieces and stick them to two straws to make our track. Make sure to have a quick check your ball will roll down the track that you've made. You'll need to create more tracks this way to build up your roller coaster. Whilst the video speeds through me creating my tracks, let's explain a little bit about this activity. So this activity lets us get hands on as engineers, designing and building our very own roller coasters. But why does a ball roll down the tracks when we let it go? Well, physics can help us answer this one. By lifting our ball up to the top of our track, we have given it a type of energy called gravitational potential energy. When we let our ball go, the force of gravity wants to pull it back towards the ground and the ball's potential energy becomes kinetic energy, which we see when our ball picks up speed. Now it's time to get back to our roller coasters. Next up, it's time to design your roller coaster. As you can see, I've cut a toilet roll tube in half to raise my base off the surface. This will help when we stick our straws through our base later. I've just designed my roller coaster straight onto my cardboard base by drawing a route for my roller coaster. Get as creative as you like with your roller coaster, adding as many turns and twists as you like. I've decided to add a tunnel onto mine. What will you add? Once you've drawn your design, it's time to give those tracks some height. I've used glue dots to stick a straw to each side of my track at one end. If you're using sellotape or a glue gun, do the same using these. I've then marked on my base where the uprights are going to go. Then, carefully using scissors, I punched holes through for the uprights. I did the same at the other end of the track to add two more uprights and then did a quick test on my track using my Malteser. Now, in order to make our tracks turn, we need to add one more upright, as you can see, to give us a corner. Then, using a second set of tracks, you can mark out where the next uprights go at the opposite end of the track. Use scissors carefully to punch holes here. Then, stick your second track onto your uprights using your glue dots, cell tape or glue gun. To make sure our ball turns a corner when it gets to it, we can add a little bumper at the corner by sticking together 
two small pieces of straw using our glue dots, sellotape or our glue gun and then sticking this on at the corner where the ball will roll into it and turn the corner. Like every stage, make sure to roll your ball down just to give it a try and make sure it works. By repeating these steps, you can add more turns into your roller coaster. Just make sure to keep your track sloping down the way or your roller coaster might grind to a stop.